the guys who are in the uh, group. First of all, it's Tony Akotoampa. Akotoampa is an avowed socialist. There's no doubt about it. He's communist and socialist. Uh, well, these days, it's, it's not right to say communist. But he's socialist. There's no question about that. Uh, the first book that I borrowed from Akoto Akoto is a, is a seasoned learned person. He gave me a book uh, entitled The German Revolution. Because I used to tease him that as a socialist, he was driving a BMW. Back in the day, Akoto had a beautiful BMW. And I used to tease him that, you are a socialist, you are driving BMW. And he would tell me that the BMW was made by the workers. You know, the socialists are friends of the workers, TUC, and that kind of thing. You need to understand that as I go through this. TUC, remember that name, Trades Union Congress, Socialist Group, they are all on the left. And Akoto will tell me that the BMW was made by the workers, so he can use it. So Akoto Ampa is a socialist. No, it doesn't come as, as a surprise, therefore, that he's supporting this angle of, of the bill. Okay, let's move on and see who is next. Dr. Kwesi Prempe uh, may not be a socialist, but he's a modernizer. This is, that, that's the other category of people who actually support the bill. That's people who have been... Um, sort of engage with American philosophy, especially in the universities. People who left Ghana after secondary school went to America to study. All of them, you, if you talk to them, majority of them think like LGBT is a right because that is the philosophy that dominates the um, American immigrant scholarly society. The American immigrant scholarly society is dominated by the philosophy of the left. Most of the American uh, immigrant scholarly society are left-wing type of people. That's, that's a philosophy that animates you when you go to study in America. You almost certainly become a left-wing thinker. You become a member of the Democratic Party if you continue to live in America. And if you go elsewhere, you're always thinking left. But they are also call themselves modernizers. That's where Chrissy Prempe belongs. He's a fully Americanized guy. He studied in America. He studied law in America. Some of his friends are LGBT. So he belongs to that group as well. Okay, let's go and see who next. Professor Audrey Gajepo is one of those as well. Professor Audrey Gajepo, distinguished uh, communications uh, person. She's also a left-wing thinker. Uh, even though in Ghana she may support the new patriotic party, and, uh, and then we always quarrel with that, the MPP Democrats, as we call them. Uh, Professor Audrey Gajepo is, is a left-wing sort of... Uh, she's, she's a modernizer, not left-wing, she's a modernizer. She belongs to the immigrant community of American, American scholarly environment. So that's who she is. Uh, Professor Techua Menu. Is, is, is that too. But Professor Techua Menu is interesting because she's coming from the background of African studies. And coming from the background of African studies, it would have been thought that the cultural nuances of this argument would have overcome her. But, but no, it hasn't. Uh, she's also quite Americanized in his uh, philosophy, in her, in her, in her education, and her thinking. So Techua Menu belongs to that group as well, left wing thinker. Then you have Professor Kwame Karika, a complete left-wing socialist uh, thinker. Uh, Professor Kwame Karika is a distinguished communicator. He's also the, uh, the board, board chairman of the Graphic Communications Group. He's the founder of the West Africa Media Foundation, an avowed human rights activist and great communicator. But Professor Kwame Karika is both American uh, in his orientation and he's also a socialist. Okay, uh, Professor Jima Bwedi has capitalist orientations. Jima Bwedi taught me in, in, in Legon, in, in University of Ghana, and uh, he, he taught me the thematic approach of political science. So in his class, we take themes and we deal with it. Very, very interesting class, very, very clever man. Professor Jima Bwedi has capitalist orientation, but he's fallen for what I believe is the American modernizing trend of American professors, the modernization of American professors. That's what Jima Bwedi has fallen for, and that's why he's a member of this group. Otherwise, Jima Bwedi, you will call a right-wing political thinker. Very, very clever man, as you say. He taught me in school, as I've said. Very clever man. And he's the founder of the CDD. He, together with Professor Bafo Ajimandu, founded the CDD uh, many years ago, and Kwesi Prempe, Professor Kwesi Prempe, is now leading the CDD. So this is Jima Boyd. He's a retired professor. He has been overcome by the modernization. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Rose Mensa Kutin, about whom I know very little, but uh, she's an advocate of rights. And so I, I will want to believe that he, she's extended uh, her rights issues into, into this one. Uh, let's go quickly. Let's see. Dr. Yao Graham, I had an argument with him on, on the phone recently. Very clever man, too. Uh, he's a complete socialist. Dr. Yao Graham uh, believes in, 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 in the left-wing politics. He believes in the philosophy of the left. And he also studied in England. But he is a modernizer in terms of his orientation. One of the uh, uh, great Ghanaians to have attended the Warwick University, uh, Dr. Yao Graham. Uh, one of the uh, beginning members of the PNDC on the socialist side of it. Yao Graham is expected to be here. Uh, Professor Jodi Chikata, I don't know much about her, uh, but if she's related to Mr. Chikata, uh, then perhaps she's a good lawyer. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is 
Kwesi Eduamankwa. Kwesi Eduamankwa is the Trade Unions Congress boss. Now, I told you about trade unions and how the trade unions are left, left leaning, how they are leftists in their orientation. So that's why you have him here. And then this is a Kojo Pumpuni is a modernizer. Kojo Pumpuni is a right wing thinker, I believe. But he's a modernizer. He's been studying in America. They're doing PhD in America. Now all of these people who study in America and do PhD in America and then they listen to the Vienna Orchestra and all of that. They all come back home telling us about how to modernize ourselves and how to allow these rights second generation rights, third generation rights, fourth generation rights. That's their philosophy. They tell us all of that. It's not surprising therefore that Kojo Pumpuni is a member of that group. Another very clever man I have to say. Uh, Mr. Kingsley, your friend cancer I don't know much about, so I will move on. And uh, Mr. Akono Dake, I've heard about him. I will I believe that he's also a modernizer uh, in his orientation. This is Mr. Kwame, uh, Mr. Tete Homeku Ajay. I don't know much about him, except to say that I think he's a very clever man. Professor Romana Tugubai, I know very well. <laughs> Professor Tugubai is both a left wing thinker. And he's also a modernizer. He's, he's studied in Harvard, recent Harvard. So, you know, that's where the coalition of all of these rights conversations occur. And that's where he's coming from. He's currently the dean of the Faculty of Law at the University of Ghana. But he's a left-wing thinker. That, so, you know where they stand. And he's also a modernizer. So, 5,000% at Tuguba is going to be against this bill. But that's an interesting uh, battle going to take place. Charles Reku Brobe is the enigma in this conversation. Because Charles Reku Brobe is actually a right-wing thinker. Charles Rekobe studied in England a long time ago, but he always tells the story about when he studied in England, he was the uh, president of the Socialist Union, the Socialist Union of Students. When he studied in England in the 80s, Dr. Brobe was the president of it. So he came to Ghana to be an MPP member and therefore a right-wing uh, political actor, but his antecedents from his student days in England was left-wing. And I'm sure in those days, the conversations about this gay and homosexuality had begun in England. He probably joined it, and that is why he's finding ground with Akuto Ampao and others. He's also very good friends with Akuto Ampao. Akuto had been his lawyer for a very long time, was his lawyer throughout the Radio I and all of that. So these are uh, minds that are coalescing together, uh, as they say, to frustrate our efforts. <laughs> okay, forgive me on that one. Joseph Asunka, I don't know that well, but he's a very handsome man. Uh, this is Nanama Ajimanasante, uh, the lady who used to be on CTFM and uh, whose advocacy about this is quite well known. So this is the group, 18, uh, Koto Ampao's group, that are challenging uh, the bill. Uh, they are those that we have to confront if we have to uh, ensure the passage of the bill.